So check this out, Flipper Zero shipments are being seized by the Brazilian government in order to prevent the use in crimes. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have some more cyber news and today we're discussing the recent news about Brazil regarding the seizure of shipments of a device called the Flipper Zero. And if you guys haven't heard of the Flipper Zero, it's basically a small open source device that can be used to hack into various electronic devices such as Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices. While the makers of the Flipper Zero says it's intended for ethical hacking and security research, Brazilian officials are concerned that the device could be used by criminal activity, such as stealing personal information or breaking into homes and businesses. And as a result, the Brazilian government is seizing shipments of this device. And they're stopping it at customs and have warned citizens not to import or use the Flipper Zero. While this may seem like an extreme measure, it's important to remember though that powerful tools like the Flipper Zero can be mis misused and it's up to the individuals and government to use them responsibly. And that's something that everybody says when it comes to the Flipper Zero. Now, one thing I'm interested in is seeing if whether other countries will follow Brazil and cracking down on the Flipper Zero. So let's head over to the article and see exactly what they're talking about. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, now, as you can see, it says Brazil seizing Flipper Zero shipments to prevent use in crime. And this article was released today. And if you guys don't know, that's the Flipper Zero. That's what it looks like or whatever. I think my man Gabe did a video uh, talking about it. I think he has one. He does some he did some demonstrations on it. And I remember seeing some videos on the Flipper Zero, like how, you know, you can open up the power port on a Tesla. It's like a whole bunch of crazy things you could do with this device. But let's get to the article. Uh, and of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video, but it says the Brazilian National Telecommunications Agency is seizing incoming Flipper Zero purchases due to its alleged use in criminal activity, with purchasers stating that the government agency has rejected all attempts to certify the equipment. And I'm assuming they, that's the way they're seizing this equipment is by uh saying that it's not certified for use within their country so that's essentially my thoughts on what they're they're actually saying now it says the flipper zero is a portable multi-function type security tool that allows pen testers and hacking enthusiasts to tinker with a wide range of hardware by supporting rfid emulation digital uh access key cloning and that's one of the crazy parts about this thing um like a lot of organizations or or like the state or something like that a lot of their buildings they have digital access keys and it's basically uh, it's almost like a credit card and you just walk up to the door and you swipe your your cord your access key and that'll let you into the building well that's one crazy point about the flipper zero you can actually clone those things so if you get a you know an active key cord and you scan it it can clone that key that it uses in there in order to authenticate with the actual system to let you into the building uh and so the, that kind of prevents that kind of defeats the whole purpose of using those access keys and break that physical security now it also says radio communications nfc infrared bluetooth and more since it was released security researchers have demonstrated flipper zero uh, features on social media and that's crazy you you can see it all on TikTok, you know instagram people doing like little shorts where they're demonstrating the flipper zero is crazy uh, but it says showing how it can trigger doorbells 
uh, perform replay attacks to open garage doors and unlock cores and be used as a digital key. So that's that's the crazy part about it. And what that reminds me of is, I don't know if you guys remember that movie Gone in 60 Seconds with Angelina Jolie and also the actor Nicolas Cage, uh, Gone in 60 Seconds where they were still in the vehicles. And I remember in one of the scenes one of the guys in his crew he used this machine that recorded the code that was sent to the garage door opener and replayed that code to the garage door opener to open it back up so that's similar to what <laughs> the flipper zero can do it basically takes that communication that radio communication and resend it out to the garage door opener and you can open up the garage door it's crazy you know what i'm saying now the next uh paragraph talks about the certification this is what i meant by what they were saying it, it needs to be certified in order for it to come into that and that's what they're using to prevent people from actually receiving it by it but it says multiple people in brazil who purchased the flipper zero hacking tool have reported that their shipments are being redirected to brazil's telecommunication agency uh anatel due to a lack of certification with the country's radio frequency department so it has to be registered with them and certified through them now it says this type of seizure is usually associated with compliance with the country's electronic and telecommunication standards for the mice devices emitting uh radio signals so they figured out a way to to seize these things uh now it says because flipper zero I incorporated is not certified in Brazil according to this standard it's not allowed to circulate freely in a Brazilian market okay so the company itself has to be certified with Brazil okay that makes sense and here is uh looks like communications or not communications this is a shipment uh and basically I don't I don't understand this but it looks as though it's diverted to you know whoever and, and basically breaks down how it sees. So Flipper Zero shipment seized by Anatel. So I guess it's sent to Anatel um, after, you know, people purchased it. Now it says, however, as the EFF, so Electronics uh, Frontier Foundation, explains in a recent report and from emails seen by Bleeper Computers, the Anatel agency has flagged the device as a tool used for criminal purposes, uh, making, it clear making its clearance come complicated and preventing it from reaching its final destination now flipper zero has gained a reputation from users who showcase this hacking capabilities on social media to perform illegal activities such as unlocking cars uh changing gas pump prices intercepting and storing remote control signals opening garage doors and more so yeah that's that's crazy right there <laughs> and i don't know if you guys uh follow this channel where they review like incidents that have happened uh but in brazil a lot of times they cover things in brazil you know a lot of guys have uh, cameras you know they have uh these big doors in front of their their apartments or houses that they live in uh to prevent people from being robbed it's like a big problem down there you know people getting robbed and killed and all that stuff and so a lot of people take their security you know very seriously in brazil um because you don't want to end up you know on the news basically so with these devices it could cause you know the criminals that are doing you know criminal things and getting access to people they typically wouldn't get access to unless these people you know left their house and i'm not saying the whole country is you know written with criminals but there are is a lot of like crime down there uh at the end of the day and it's crime everywhere but you know and you can see you know a lot of that crime on uh like these different youtube channels that review you know footage of incidents that have happened you know as far as robberies shootings and all that stuff now what it says right here is although the device does not use hardware that is illegal or impossible to find elsewhere its market success fueled a wave of negative media attention that portrayed it as a risk to society and that's true you know what i'm saying i mean to be honest the way it's been portrayed on social media and shown off by a lot of these people is that 
it makes it super easy for people to do things illegally or use it for bad purposes. Now it says the unexpected interception of the 169 portable multi-function tool created for pen testers and hacking enthusiasts begin at the start of the year and are still ensuing. Now it also says uh, buyers from Brazil have been exchanging advice on Reddit in the past couple months, trying to get their items cleared from Anatel. Uh, a user has posted analytical instructions on applying to Anatel for personal homologation certification for Flipper Zero, which should make it usable by the buyers. Albe prevent, preventing resale to others in Brazil. However, many buyers report that the agency has rejected this certification uh, procedure because Flipper Zero is allegedly being used to facilitate crime. And here is a quote of that. I'm not going to read it, but let's go through right there. But you can see the rejection of the certification request right here as well. Um, now, EF, EFF argues that Brazil Brazilian authorities outright banning Flipper Zero in the country will limit the security researchers access to powerful portable uh, cybersecurity tools harming their work and negativity impacting the field. Now, right here it says the Flipper Zero has clear uses, penetration testing to facilitate a uh, hardening of home networks or organization, organizational infrastructure, hardware research, security research, protocol development, uh, use by radio hobbyists and many more. So there are a lot of arguments, you know, for reasons to actually possess these devices. But the problem is, does the government agree with that? You know what I'm saying? And then also... It depends on if the positives outweigh the negatives when it comes to it. Now, it says the creation, possession, and distribution of tools related to security research should not be criminalized or otherwise restricted. Those who purchase device from John, John Feff and have had their Flipper Zero Cs have been told they will be reimbursed. Uh, Bleeping Computer has requested comment from the above Anatel and Flipper Zero, but we have not heard back by publication time. So, yeah, that was an interesting article. And like I said, you know, I wonder if countries are going to follow, you know, what Brazil is actually doing to try to crack down on this flipper zero. But I guess we'll start seeing that in the near future. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to definitely try to stay up to date with what's going on with this story. You know, it seems super interesting because I've been trying to get my hands on the Flipper Zero uh, for a while now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And also, if you have a Flipper Zero, what are your thoughts on, you know, what Brazil is doing? And do you think it'll start affecting other places in the world or at least where you're from? You know what I'm saying? I would love to hear down in the comments your thoughts. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.